shadow. <laughs> and angel shadow. And here we have sweet, oh, here we have Cleo and Sweet Pea shadow. No one else has a shadow. All four of the older hens have laid their eggs today. Yes. And that's popcorn. So the only one who hasn't laid an egg is Angel. And I'm not too worried about that. Don't know that she'll lay an egg every day right away. Anyway, so lovely. Last night was one of our more successful nights in the coop. But that could be because I blocked the windows. So there were, when they got in there, it was really dark. The uh, unsuccessful part is that um, when I looked later, I don't know, after they were all up on their perches and everything, well, Angel wasn't. She was down on the, on the ground and she couldn't get up on a perch. So I think it was blocked off of light too much. On the other hand, uh, these ladies didn't attack anyone. Troublemaker. I might have to get her wings clipped. Although well, maybe if she gets heavy enough, she won't be able to do that. Apparently, Cleo didn't like it. Don't get up there. I agree. Don't get up there. Well, we're doing pretty well. It's been a couple days since I recorded. Phoenix is doing better. She's still a little bit on the out, on the outs from the um, the original hens here. Those <laughs> those four days kind of messed her up a little bit. But we're doing we're doing okay right now. And Angel here. What you got going on with your feather? It's kind of weird, huh? Hmm. Ugh. You guys. Angel eats like all the time. She's like starving. Which she's not. PK. See where she's picking pecking at her. Well, she was probably on the ground, and someone pooped right on her. And it was a yucky, wet poop. And I tried to wash it off a bit, which she did not like. But I, I got most of it off, and now she's trying to fluff up the feathers and clean them off. She's like, gross. This is disgusting. Sweet pea. She's super curious. She jumps, she's running around, she's chasing moths. She is definitely the most energetic, which maybe that's why she doesn't weigh very much because she burns it off just thinking. <laughs> she's like, okay, in a little while, I'm gonna jump and I'm gonna burn off all this energy. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm letting the chickens out early today because I have things to do. All right, I'm gonna let them out first. Oh yeah, come on out. All right, I, can let, I usually let them all out at the same time, but that's like <laughs> later in the day. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them out for a few minutes and maybe these ladies will get down and do some eating. Michael is gonna cut this and we are going to create the perch in here, it's gonna replace this front one. It's going to be lower underneath that lip and basically in the same place and it's gonna be on the, uh, what would you say that? The four side of the two by four will be facing up. All right, are we ready to come out? You can, it's early, but they don't know and they don't care. Yes, that is a glove I need to throw away. Um, <laughs> PK had um, 
uh, chicken poop all over her back because somebody was on a perch above her and, you know, and, uh, you know, gross. So I put a glove on. <laughs> in the world. Oh, here comes someone else. <laughs> Jeez. She loves to chase the moth. Get that moth. She's so hyper, hyper and shy, or hyper and scared. Sweet Pea doesn't really, you know, fit with that, but I mean, what does popcorn fit with, right? <laughs> How'd you name your, your chicken popcorn? I have mixed the soil, added a layer of my own compost that's still composting. I've added a, just now, a layer of topsoil, which I've just mm, sort of mixed in. And then I flattened it out with a rake. I have the seeds for the hairy vetch, which I'm going to plant in here by this weekend, maybe the next weekend. You're supposed to plant it 30 days before your first frost, but if I plant it in the next two weekends, or two weeks, I guess, uh, it will be fine. I wanted to let them eat more of the stuff that was growing in here. And I put them in here, but there was really nothing in here they were interested in. The only thing they want uh, is a worm or 20. Hi, Miss Cloud. How are you? The reason I'm going to turn that perch, the two by four to the four part standing up is due to Advice from people who say, well, when your chickens get older and they get arthritis and they get this and that and the other thing, uh, it's going to be harder for them to jump down and it's easier there for them to just spread their feet out, sit on. Some people are like, well, and it, in case it freezes, it doesn't get that cold here. Cold, but I'm considering it. What in the heck? Dude, you were eating that tr plant again, weren't you, you little turkey? <sighs> and then Phoenix came over and they're like, oh. So I caught you in the act. Well, Phoenix did. I don't know what she thought was there. <laughs> Maybe there. Oh. <laughs> Look at her. She's like. 
uh, graceful. Starla, that was so um, amazingly, <laughs> amazingly, that was amazingly ridiculous. It was. How's your neck? Huh? How's your chin? She's like, look, just look at her. She's like, I didn't, what? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I am graceful. I am gorgeous. I never make mistakes. I meant to do that. And here comes Cleo, because Cleo wants to be near Star. And vice versa. I will move over. Just gonna jump yet. There she goes. They are buddies. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> the three of these are off and on buddies. I really want Sweet Pea to be able to at least have one or two other chickens she can cuddle up with. Well, it's the weekend again. Last weekend, we got the roof finished. This weekend, we have more projects. And I can tell you right now, uh, <laughs> Michael's going to be really glad when these chicken projects are over. He's, he's tired of them. He's not complaining, but he's tired of chicken projects, you know? Plus, we have to do some yard projects. So what's left to be done? Let's go look. The first thing we're going to do is install a new wide perch and lower perch to the coop. We're going to also add electricity to the coop and the run because winter's coming and I want a light in the coop when I need it and a light in the run when I need it. We're also doing that welded wire up there at the top. See, that's a great big opening there. And we need to close it off. All right, one hole for electricity. <laughs> putting in hooks, putting in a light. So Michael put in this two by four perch. Ooh. It was a real pain in the butt. Uh, all the way over here. And yes, I'm in the coop trapped. Uh, but as you can see, each uh, perch is at a different level now. And I removed that 4x4, four four, which means they're going to perch up against that wall and possibly poop on that that little that wall that we put there. If they do, I'll take it out. Now it's on um, some brackets here so that we can remove it if we need to, but it's not removable in an easy way. There's the hole for the electricity and my new light. Oh, it reminds me, I need a light bulb. But you see, we had to do it from the inside and look what it did. Wow. So, I mean, ultimately, it's not the end of the world, but you know, I, we did spend a lot of money on this coop, so doing that's like, a oh, crud. But, um, I'll paint it. I don't know if I'll fill it in, but I'll at least paint it so that the wood is not raw. First she was in the garbage can. Now she's in the wheelbarrow. Yeah, what are you looking for? Did you find it? Did you find it? These ladies are so dramatic. See that? I put it in texture. And they sound like so when when I hear them do that I'm like oh yeah sure sure you're hurt I doubt it Cleo hey hey nope 